Hey guys and welcome to my favorite day crafts. In this video today I want to show you how to do the basic pages for our 8x8 mini albums. So this is going to be a next part for my tutorial series. And I'm very sorry that it took me so long to finally upload this part um, for the tutorial series on how I do my 8x8 mini albums. But I had some problems with my last laptop, um, but I got a new one and I'm very happy to share my um, tutorials with you again. Okay, so before I start with the tutorial, I want to add here that um, I actually changed my measurements for my pages, for my 8x8 mini albums. So I used to um, do my pages exactly 8x8 inches, but now I prefer to do them 8 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter. And I simply um, changed my measurements just because um, I actually like my pattern paper um, for decorating the pages to be 8 by 8 inches. And um, so if the basic page is just a quarter inch on each side uh, wider, so this leaves me with a little bit of a border. So in this video you see me um, using the measurements 8 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter but um, if you already did your hinge or you prefer um, your pages to be smaller just um, keep in mind that it's very important that the basic pages have the same measurements as your hinge. And if you're interested in my cutting guides, which I'm using in this video, um, you can find all information in the description box down below. Okay, so let's just start with the tutorial and um, of course the first thing uh, we do is cut our cardstock to size. So um, for the first cardstock element, which is going to be cardstock element A, uh, we want to cut um, our basic cardstock to eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I also um, like to label my cardstock elements so you see me writing down A on this element here. And then for the second element, cardstock element B, uh, we cut our um, cardstock to eight and a quarter by nine and a quarter. For the next step, we are going to score our cardstock elements. And as you can see, um, there is no scoring needed for cardstock element A, so we can just leave it as it is. And then we go ahead and score our cardstock element B. And we actually want to score on the nine quarter and a quarter inch side. So um, the first scoring line would be at um, half of a quarter um, on the left side. And then also we score at eight and three quarters. And the way I note that in the cutting guide is um, you can see that the nine and a quarter um, measurement is um, printed in bold and that means that this is the side we are scoring at. And then also, um, as you can see, uh, included in the cutting guide are these templates. So these show you exactly where to score. After scoring, we now need to um, attach our 3 8 of an inch tape um, next to the scoring lines. So just attach it on both um, like little flaps you created with the scoring lines. And then as you can also see by looking at the templates, um, we want to cut off the little corners next to the scoring lines. So I like to turn around my cardstock, get my small scissors, and then I just cut at an angle um, right next to the scoring line. And just be careful that you don't cut into the scoring line, but just next to it. Then you can fold up um, the little flaps you created on the scoring line. And as you can see, uh, we also fold up our flaps um, on the like back side of the cardstock. So it's not the side you um, scored it and it's also not the side um, you placed your tape on, but you turn it around and then you can fold it up and get your bone folder to burnish it down. Now our cardstock elements are prepared and we can um, continue by attaching them to each other. So get your cardstock element A, just leave it um, on your table and then you want to attach cardstock element B 
to cardstock element A. And for this I like to um, take off the tape backing just a little bit from one side and then I can um, hold the sticky side up while aligning um, the, the cardstock um, perfectly to the edges of cardstock element A. Once I have aligned it um, straight or almost straight, it doesn't matter if it's like a little bit off, um, just try your best to have it straight. Um, I remove the rest of the tape backing and then you can just go ahead and remove the whole tape backing um, on the other side and just burnish it down to cardstock element A. So now we have finished our basic page and as you can see it has um, openings on both sides uh, which we can use to later on attach our basic page to the hinge. Okay, so now that we have um, made our basic page, we could go ahead and just add um, any pockets or uh, flaps to it or any page style we like. But what I actually like to do first is um, I like to attach what I call an additional pa basic page flap to my basic pages. And these additional basic page flaps basically just give you um, more pages. So even if you have just four hinges and four basic pages, uh, when you start with adding the additional basic page flaps first, then you have a lot more pages to work with. And because I always like to include these additional basic page flaps to my albums, um, I also wanted to include a tutorial on how to do them in this YouTube video. Okay, so as you can see, um, for the additional basic page flap, we just need to um, prepare one cardstock element, cardstock element A, and this is going to be cut at eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters. After scoring our cardstock to size, uh, we just need to score um, half of an inch on the eight and three quarters inch side. So as you can see in the template as well, uh, just get your bone folder and your scoreboard and then score half of an inch from the left side. And now the same as we did um, for our basic pages, we continue by preparing our flaps um, by attaching the tape first next to the scoring lines and then we continue um, by cutting off the edges and um, burnishing down the uh, little flaps we created. Now we can attach our additional basic page flap to our basic page and um, for this we want to be careful um, that we actually attach it on the right side. So make sure that you attach your flap on the side with the opening. So you have two sides with an opening and you want to attach it on the left side. To attach it um, to the basic page, I again uh, just get off the tape backing from one side and then I hold up the sticky side um, and align my cardstock element A to the basic page so that I have it straight on all of the edges. Then I can just remove the rest of the tape backing and burnish down my page and that's basically it. So now you have an additional flap and as you can see this leaves me with more um, uh, pages I can now place on my um, page styles. And I like to add my page styles before I go on and attach my basic pages um, to the hinge of my album. Um, but you could also um, attach your basic pages with or without the additional page flap first and then um, once they are attached to the hinge you can continue by adding the page styles. But because I don't want this video to get super long, I decided to do another part on how I add my uh, basic pages to the hinge of my albums. Um, yeah, so that's it for today's video and I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you did so, um, I would love to get your feedback in the comments and yeah, just see you in my next video. Bye!